You know, you have to ignore your sister, honey. She's going through the big change. Happened to my mother, it happened to your mother. She's not even 30. I've heard that it happens earlier nowadays. That doesn't even make sense. I tell you what doesn't make sense. Your dad not recognizing the opportunity of a lifetime. Bob, I'm not putting another dime into one of your Ponzi schemes. Ponzi scheme? What Ponzi scheme? This is a legitimate business opportunity. Gabby, listen to me. I got a guy. He wants to sell me one of those cotton candy machines at a really, really good price. Now, think ice cream trucks. They drive up and down, up and down, up and down. Do it with a cotton candy machine. We do it all year round. We make a killing. We probably wouldn't even make enough to pay off the truck. <sighs> Speaking of money, I was wondering if I could borrow a hundred dollars. From Bob? Sure. From Bob? I'm in between paychecks right now, sweetie. From you, Dad. So you're telling me that you're not making enough money at that library to put a roof over your head or support my grandson? That's the shocker of a lifetime. You should have went to college when you had the chance. It was hard enough for me to come all the way over here just to ask you for money. You don't have to degrade me more than that. You could have done a lot more with your life, that's all I'm saying. Now you're getting over the hill. It ain't bad being over the hill. You want a good example of what not to do with your life? Take a look at Bob. What's he ever accomplished? Not much. Thanks, Dad. So glad I came over. I'm going to write you a check, but I'm going to make it out to Keevan. You need to start a savings account so he can go to college. I don't want to go to college. That's nonsense. You want to go far in life? You want to succeed? You need to go to college. There's two types of people in this world. Those that go to college and those who don't. You have both types right here in this kitchen. Hey, I went to community college once. Shut up, Bob. All I'm saying is you need to go to college. Yeah, and as soon as I get that degree, I can hit up Bob and we can work on this cotton candy idea. Really? Well, let me tell you about that. Move over, kid. Move. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This cotton candy machine is going to be a killer. He's ready to sell me the machine, right? We just got to go find a pickup truck, do it out of my wagon somewhere, cut a little bit of paint, a little bit of post-it, some business cards, and we're good to go. Are you getting this? 